Hi guys, we are gonna discuss in this video a die example question, a paper A question number six. In the normal pulmonary vascular bed, and the following answers, second and fifth are correct. This question it is a little bit tricky. Let me explain why. First answer is wrong uh, because the mean arterial pressure is half. It's half of pressure in uh, which section it is measured. It is not half uh, the mean aortic pressure. I have some facts here. So, mean arterial pressure is average arterial pressure throughout one cardiac cycle, systole and diastole. And it's not related to uh, aortic pressure. It's, it is related uh, to the artery in which it is measured. Uh, second one, vascular resistance is lower than systemic vascular resistance. Yes, it is correct. Uh, because uh, uh, vascular resistance uh, is lower than systemic vascular resistance. We are talking about the pulmonary arteries. Uh, this uh, promote exchange of gases of oxygen and uh, carbon dioxide make it easily. Uh, third answer is wrong. 50% of blood of the total blood volume is present at rest in uh, again in the nor in the vascular uh, in the pulmonary vascular bed. It is wrong because uh, a big and small circulation small circulation is uh, is consistent from lungs in times that a uh, big circulation is consistent of aorta uh, grid vessels and it is uh, it consists of uh, almost blood in in the body so it is wrong uh, force the wedge pressure equals the capillary pressure uh, it is it is correct actually it is correct answer uh, because uh, if you are looking at the anatomy of the vessels from the pulmonary artery we're going and dividing in many arteries and at the end of uh, the capillary ramification this pressure is called the uh, uh, capillary wedge pressure which is equal with this portion this portion is equal with all of this and of course the end of capillary uh, capillary wedge pressure is the same as pulmonary artery and the fifth is wrong hypoxia causes dilation of vessels not it is wrong because hypoxia causes hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction it is a mechanism of compensation a portion of vessels or portion of a pulmon of lungs that is not well ventilated will, uh, uh, will result in a vasoconstriction and redistribution of blood to the portion of lung which is well ventilated here I have many facts, I can read them and you can make a pause of this uh, slide and make notes. This is very important. Mean arterial pressure is average arterial pressure throughout one cardiac cycle, systolic, systole and diastole. Normal pulmonary artery systolic is one eighth of systemic uh, systolic blood pressure and that pulmonary hypertension is defined as once one forty one fourth of the systemic uh, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure also is a reflection of left atrial pressure Euler Lich strand mechanism or hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction is a physiological phenomenon in which small pulmonary artery constrict in presence of alveolar hypoxia 
and here we have many links for review by itself once again uh, pulmonary uh, vascular pressure is systolic is around 25 and mean arterial pressure is not health is is a health of arterial pressure in which vessel it is measured it is not related to aortic pressure vascular resistance is lower than systemic vascular resistance for allowing exchange of gases it is correct 50% of uh, the total blood volume is present at rest in the pulmonary vascular bed it is wrong as uh, most of the blood is uh, present in the big circulation of, of the body the wedge pressure equal the capillary uh, pressure it is the same from the end to the start of the aort uh, of pulmonary sorry uh, vessel especially artery and hypoxia causes uh, hypoxic pulmonary va uh, vessel constriction and re redistribution of the blood thank you for your watching have a great day in continuum